Hey guys, got a flashlight review for you. Thank you so much to the folks at Godzooks.com for hosting. What you're looking at here is the Maglight LED XL100, and this light is badass. Um, don't mean to be vulgar, but this is such a cool flashlight. I'm glad this thing didn't come out when I was 12, because I'd probably get in trouble for playing around with it and have it taken away. Uh, it's got so many cool little functions. I'm going to get into that in a second, and just want to have you... Uh, Get a nice look at this. I like the fact that it's got a streamlined flat body and it's uh, made out of that machined aluminum with a great fit and finish that Maglite uh, flashlights are known for. It uses the LED technology instead of uh, the older incandescent technology. I like LEDs. All my lights now are LEDs because they're more durable, uh, they take shock a lot better, they're a lot brighter, and they have a better battery life. So um, go with LEDs if you can. If you don't, if you have some of the older Maglites, check out my other review. They have a uh, so Gadzooks.com has uh, some new conversion kits so you can turn those older incandescent lights into LED technology. But onto this flashlight. Uh, it's a standard push button design and if she, uh, we'll talk about the, this push button uh, setup right now in a second. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, pull out the battery assembly here that comes with it and charge this thing up. So this thing takes three AAA batteries and you'll notice one side has like a little uh, a single contact point nub at one side and this side has two so the side with two will be the side that goes in first in case you stick it in the battery pack and it doesn't light up and you're wondering why it might be because you have it backwards or maybe because you loaded in the batteries uh, backwards on the assembly so once it's in push that in and it's, you can use it as a normal flashlight. Uh, fits really great in the hand. I like the fact that it's just uh, straight, doesn't taper or anything like that because it makes it smooth and really comfortable in the hand to use. And I prefer this uh, base push button design for smaller flashlights because you can hold it in the palm of your hand. And you can just use it like so. But the real cool selling point here is what you see at this cap. Now if you own this flashlight what I would do is I would memorize all these different functions and what order they're in. And then you use this little nub on the rubber button as a reference point. So once I have this in the middle, I know it's on the dim function. When I kind of have it a little bit to the left, then I know that I have my thumb on strobe. Now this works on a motion control technology. It's going to be a little bit hard on the camera because I have the camera at an angle, so I have to hold it kind of like here. So sometimes it won't read. But basically, if you have this at a 90 degree angle, and I'll use this function first. Uh, say you have this nub facing up, so say you have it, pretend that this is horizontal. If you have it at a 90 degree angle, what I'll do is I push the button and I hold it for a second. Once I have it for held, have held the light for a, uh, the button for a second, as I rotate my hand under the dim section, it'll get dimmer, and if I rotate it back, it'll get brighter. And then other functions you have, for example, if you have strobe, if you hold it for uh, for a second, as you rotate it, it's going to start strobing. If you rotate it back, it'll stop. There's also the night light function, which I think is really, really cool. What you'll do is, if you have the night light function on, what will happen is it'll automatically dim on its own. Uh, if you just leave it, the light will shine and it'll dim on its own. But the second you disturb the light, it'll go back to full brightness and then it'll start to dim. So it's pretty cool. You can actually use this as uh, some sort of a alert. You can leave it somewhere and then if any kind of movement happens, it brightens up right away. Uh, you can use it for a short amount of time, but that would pretty much kill the battery, but it's pretty neat. You have the signal function, which means it's going to give you um, a periodic burst of light, and then you have the SOS function, which is going to be three fast lights, three slow lights, three fast lights. Uh, so first I'm going to start with the dim function. Bear with me here. I'm going to see if I can... I have to have my hand angled a little bit for the camera to pick it up, but what I'm going to do is hold it, and then as you can see as I rotate it, it goes from full brightness, and as I rotate my hand, it goes to dim. And then as I rotate it back, full brightness. Pretty cool, eh? So basically, I just push on it and hold it for a second. There we go. And let me show you some of the other functions. So I'm going to put it on strobe, see if I can angle this thing right. And then it goes to off into periodic strobe and if I rotate my hand back it, the strobe effect becomes more rapid. Now the camera isn't able to pick it up but it's actually uh, strobing a lot faster than what uh, the picture is showing. And then if I move my hand over 
it's going to have only just periodic strobing. And then if I turn it back, and it's rapid. Uh, I'm going to push that and turn it off. And now, I'm going to turn it to the night light setting. Have this light at 90 degrees. So I leave it. And as you can see, if I can leave it here, it kind of dims on its own. And if I shake it, it goes back to full brightness. If I stand absolutely still, it's going to turn down on its own and you have this pale light. But then if you leave it and something disturbs it, it goes back to full brightness. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you the signal function. So here, so this, as you can see right now, why you need to memorize the order that these functions are in and also use this little nub as a reference point. So that way if you're in a uh, nighttime setting and you need to use one of these functions, you'll know. So I'm just going to press and hold for a second. And with that, anytime I rotate my hand, it turns on, rotate back, turns off, on, off. So I can actually control when it comes on and off. So do that, back, that, and back. And then let me show you the SOS function. Press and hold for a second. So three slow ones and then three rapid ones. So that's it. You got like all these different functions. So not only can you just push it once and use it as an extremely bright light, um, but you have these extra functions. So now for the last part of this review, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out into my backyard. I'm going to shine it at an object uh, at night in the dark uh, from 50 feet away to give you an idea of how bright this light is. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the backyard. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to give you a look at how the light looks outside. Uh, we're in my backyard and I'm shining on the back fence wall of my backyard and this tree right here is about 50 feet away from the camera. So you can see it's got a bright center and then it's got that halo around it which covers up pretty much the area of the camera. So it's pretty bright, really bright in fact. And now if I kind of press and hold on to it to activate the dim function. Let's see if I can rock my hand to the side. So let's see, that's off. That's on. If I hold it for like a second, let's see if I can get this right. And this is the dimming function right there by just rocking my hand. So this is full power. And as I slowly turn my hand, that's off. And then on. So yeah. It's powerful enough and so bright that even the uh, camera can pick it up. This isn't a good camera for low light. It has trouble picking that up, but as you can see, you can pick out this tree right here. And really, really bright from 20 feet on in. So yeah, just wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like outside. Back again, guys. So there you have it. Uh, that is the XL100 from Maglite. Great brightness, uh, as you saw, at a distance. Plus, you have uh, this small, lightweight form factor. Um, thing hardly weighs anything. I'll put it on the scale and I'll uh, put it in the details section. But it feels really light in the hand, fully loaded, even with batteries. Very ergonomic, uh, easy on the hands, no sharp edges very easy to use and you have a bunch of extra functions to use and if you're creative enough I'm sure you can find a ton of ways to use all the functions that are in this flashlight and it's available at 4267 uh, as of today which is November 18th 2010 so check out the folks at gadzooks.com if you guys want to try out the XO100 I think it's an awesome deal for what you're getting and what you're paying for it's a great medium priced uh, light that offers a lot more than what you're paying so check out the XL100 and if you like it uh, check out some of the other stuff that they got at getzooks.com thanks for watching the review guys and uh, if you have any questions just uh, feel free to uh, email me have a good day